Coach, um, hard fought, hard fought, gritty win um, tonight. Uh, what are some thoughts after today's win? Um, well, I, you know, I'm proud that we found a way to close it out. You know, I thought that, um, you know, St. Mary's came out in the first quarter and didn't have a good first quarter. Um, and I think that our team uh, kind of thought that that's who St. Mary's was. Um, but that's not who St. Mary's is. They had a bad quarter and then they came out and responded and played three very good quarters. And um, we, um, you know, we inconsistently um, rebounded. We inconsistently took care of the ball. We, we didn't do anything well um, in a sustainable way. And then in the fourth quarter, I thought, you know, our decision making and our um, anxiety uh, got the best of us there a little bit. But, um, you know, I thought, you know, I didn't do a whole lot to help them. And I thought they responded really well with figuring out a way to get something done. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't beautiful. There were a lot of mistakes. But at the end of the day, the kids on the floor figured out how to get the game won. Uh, you mentioned that first quarter, um, not necessarily dominant offensively, but def- uh, excuse me, offensively, but defensively, you held St. Mary's without a field goal. Um, what are some things the team were doing well in that first quarter defensively that, you know, kind of helped uh, set the pace in this game? Um, you know, I thought, <clears throat> you know, I thought we came out and I thought we did a nice, you know, we're concerned with Bamberger. You know, she's been a dominant player, you know, for the, you know, certainly last year <clears throat> in the league and we know what she's capable of around the basket. And, um, you know, they're, they're freshmen, um, Aokuso is, uh, you know, their leading scorer. So those are the two kids that we keyed on. I thought we did a nice job of, um, you know, trying to get the ball out of Bamberger's hands and not let her catch it in a place she was comfortable scoring. Um, and then, you know, some of how they played was a function of our defense, but the majority of it was just, you know, how basketball goes. Sometimes they didn't make some shots. They, you know, were a little, a little slow getting out of the blocks. But again, I thought they made up for it in, in the second, third, and fourth quarter. Defensively, Luana was uh, tasked with guarding St. Mary's best players at times, especially at the guard position. Um, what are some things she did well um, defensively tonight? You know, I thought for the most part of the game, she did a nice job of, again, not letting her catch it in the spots that she's um, really comfortable scoring. They like to isolate her in the in the free throw area. They like to, you know, we thought they would probably attack um, Lou with post up um, with her because she's a little bit smaller. And, you know, they did a little bit of that, but I thought for the most part, um, you know, I thought Lou got a little fatigued in the fourth quarter, and, and so did Deb, and we didn't have a lot of help on our screens when she was using ball screens and getting downhill. But for the most part, she made her take, you know, contested shots and then, um, you know, was, was just good at harassing the ball. Lou's a, Lou's a tough competitor. Freya had a very efficient night, especially from the three-point line um, with four three-pointers. Uh, what are something that either she was doing or the team was doing to find uh, a way to get her open? Um, you know, Freya's... We just we want Freya to be comfortable in that scoring role, and you know for her it's it's embracing <clears throat> being being the person who is assertive and and wants the ball in her hands and wants to take shots when she's open, and um, that's not necessarily a role that she has been comfortable with throughout her career. So um, tonight I thought she took good shots and looked at the basket, and when she was open had her feet set, knocked shots down. I thought she did a, a really nice job in a. In a stretch there in the second third quarter of getting some offensive rebounds for us um you know it 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 obviously helps us a lot when when she can um, provide some offensive spark from the perimeter um 17 turnovers tonight um obviously not great but um what are some things maybe saint mary's was doing to possibly you know disrupt um the offense that's their style of play i mean they they've got several different kinds of defenses that, that they play to try to keep you out of rhythm, um, off balance. And, you know, I thought it was very, it was really effective against us for most of the game. I didn't think we had a very good offensive flow at all. You know, we, um, you know, weren't, weren't finding gaps that were open. We didn't use ball fakes real well. We, you know, put our head down and ran into trouble a lot of times. And that's, you know, again, a function of them, you know, mixing up their defenses and rotating and having active hands and, um, so I, you know, give their defense a lot of credit for the turnovers that, that we made. Another tough task on Saturday coming up with Pacific, um, you know, already beaten them at their place uh, earlier this season. Um, what are some things that the team can maybe take from tonight um, heading into that game? Um, well, we're going to need to play better. Uh, you know, we're going to need to get off to a good start again, but then we're going to need to sustain, um, you know, the, <clears throat> you know, the, 
energy for four quarters. I'm sure Pacific, you know, they've kind of, they've had a bye week this week, so they've been preparing for us. I'm sure they've been thinking about a rematch with us since we beat them on their court. Um, you know, and we've talked about that with our group too. And, you know, for us, it's, you know, being ready to play on the second, second night um, that's not always been a strength of ours uh, with a with such a short rotation and, and Lorena kind of still out you know we need to to get rest tomorrow but we also need to do enough that we feel prepared and feel confident with our scout going into Saturday so um, you know I think our kids will be ready to play I think we'll be tough and we need to you know we're an ugly team we play ugly and um, you know we kind of need to embrace who we are and, and fight through that and find ways to win despite um, some of the mistakes that we make, and, and when we do that, we've, we've had some good success.